Well, what is up everyone? I know we're late, but we are doing a Brilliant Stars booster box opening. Really super excited about this. I was really wanting to do this before I left for the trip on to Orlando to Collecticon. Unfortunately, the boxes didn't get here until like late Thursday night and I was leaving. Anyway, I couldn't get a video uploaded. Uh, so we are doing this late. Uh, you guys know uh, recently, this is just for me. This is for for me to enjoy. Recently, I, um, I started getting back into Pokemon as a result of my now almost three-year-old daughter being absolutely obsessed with opening Pokemon cards, which is 100% my fault. Um, but, oh man, this set has me super excited with all the Charizard uh, and a lot of the uh, extended art or cool art. Uh, don't mind my Pokemon background. I don't have any Pokemon playmats. I need to really update my Pokemon uh, stream. I, I'm curious. Do you want to see more Pokemon on the channel? Are you like, Lou, why are you doing Pokemon? I'm doing Pokemon because I, I freaking love Pokemon, man. Pokemon was my childhood, and it's really been a lot of fun to relive some of that uh, with my daughter. Okay, who, what do we got here? We got... Uh, it kind of goes there and then we got foil. So there's just one foil and sometimes there's two foils. There's your rare. All right. We'll just kind of do that. We'll throw these and then we'll, I don't know if anybody uses those, but we'll throw the code cards up on the screen. All right. So this, this set is absolutely going crazy on the open market. Um, warm a damn. It, like one of the things of Pokemon. Oh, muck. See, I love seeing the old Pokemon, like the ones that I know that all works pretty cool. Uh, one of the things with Pokemon is that the uh, the the hits just are few and far between, but when you get them, they feel really good. Um, and it's just like, ah, oh, man, I don't know all the Pokemon anymore. I don't pay attention to... There's a couple Okay, so is that like a... Is this whole inner side all original Pokemon? Because that's all three of them. Um, I, like, Pokemon is by far, the, when I'm opening up packs, what I know least about. Uh, in terms of like the new stuff, uh, you know, I don't do the Pokemon trick. I'm not like a professional Pokemon YouTuber, maybe someday, but like right now I'm not that, um, Ooh, Luxray. There we go. And okay. Grimstar. So that, that is not a, Oh, what is that? V star. So this is some different thing for the game that I don't understand. Cause I don't play the game, but, uh, anyway, it's been really, really super interesting getting back involved um, as a dad, like, it's just been super interesting to see my daughter, like, be obsessed with Pokemon cards in almost like a not healthy way. Ooh, Leopard, a foil, and an Escavalier. Uh, that's cool. The foils on these ones aren't very good, honestly. Um, you yeah, know, but they do the, the big foil so well that it kind of makes up for the, the lame parts. Uh, so it's been really interesting to, like, relive it as an adult. But also see somebody who's just learning the Pokemon uh, for the first time. And what it has me is really, really excited for like when she gets involved with uh, actually playing card games. And she always says, um, she says, those are daddy's cards. But when I'm older, I can play. And like, it's just going to be really interesting. I just love, ooh, there's our first. Okay, this is, uh, this is an extended art. Uh, but it's the, it's not, okay, so it's not one of those special ones. Yeah, it is. This is in the, the trainer gallery set, which is super interesting. Uh, so there's a subset that is 30 cards, and this is one of the trainer gallery subsets. So we'll see how many of those we get. Those have a, a little bit of a value, uh, but not as much as obviously as like the shiny or the, um, not shiny, the, uh, the V max and other ones. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know. It's just like super interesting to pay attention to it all and to kind of start learning it and reliving it as uh, I prepare for uh, the future. I know she's young, but like it's just fun to watch her like open packs and be excited to hit a Charmander that she knows. She she has one of those pillow pet Charmanders and she absolutely loves it. So uh, I'm really excited about Lapras. There we go. That's cool artwork on Lapras. I like the artwork in this set. I last set I didn't really like the artwork, but so far I'm uh, I'm liking the artwork on this one. Uh, Pokemon YouTube channels are crazy too. Like the, the amount of views is insane. It really uh, makes me like when when my daughter's old enough, like we start a Pokemon YouTube channel and like help her do that. Like that would be awesome. Uh, Torterra, I, I kind of like that haul. Like the. Uh, is there? Somebody leave a comment in the comments. Is there like an order or like a a um, specific cards that you can get in those different foils? Or are they just kind of random? 
I, I don't know anything like that. Like, that's not my... Star you. Uh-oh. I see something different. I see something different. What's it going to be? Ooh, Flygon. All right. The V cards don't really uh, excite me that much. They're cool. Like, they are really cool. Look at that. That shiny. I've never really looked under under a light like this. Uh, that shiny is really cool. I wish other games would do a better job of making their, their like, hits, like, hitty. I don't know. Uh, you know, like, like Pokemon knows how to make a flashy card. Like, you got to give it to Pokemon. Uh, I, Magic, their full arts are pretty good. Uh, but, you know, they only... Ooh, that... See, like, look at that artwork on that Magmar. That's pretty cool. Like, a Christmas Magmar? That's pretty sweet. Uh, Tornad Tornadus and Star Raptor. Uh, Pokemon's really, really good. Big Star! Pokemon's really, really good at... Um, at making their, uh, you know, their full arts, but they're really, really awful at naming their cards. Like the Pokemon naming system is like the most random and not really. Ooh, Mewtwo foil Mewtwo. I wonder. Uh oh, and a Kingler. Okay, all right, foil Mewtwo. Like that artwork's sweet. All right, that's going in the. Uh, that's going in the hip pile. I know it's probably worth like thirty cents, but and a Kingler. There we go. Um, Pokemon's interesting. Like you're, you're not gonna get the value back here. You're really looking for uh, your super chase cards. Uh, Pokemon, I always call it like an experience to open. I have started like trying to collect sets of even like the newer Pokemon, not as like an investment, but just as like a hey, gotta collect them all type thing. Um, and it's kind of fun. Like you know, get a new binder and you know collect a set and just it's cheap you can buy the singles you know i i don't always get the super flashing ones um it's super fun and super cool and uh i i'm just kind of reliving obviously i just traded into a um a pretty rare pokemon uh first edition charizard and it, it's just cool to like relive my childhood a little bit and Honestly, I think a lot of people did that in the middle of the pandemic, but I was too busy with all the new TCGs in the middle of the pandemic. So I feel like I'm like late, but I'm also not like it's also post the uh, the the Logan Paul boom and the the market's kind of retraced back down uh, to what it was kind of previous to the Logan Paul boom. So it's kind of a good time to get into it, honestly. Uh, but I've been all about it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Spirit Bomb. All right, this box is horrible, but we got something coming up here. King Clack and a Pikachu V. Okay. All right. Is this a uh, is this a different artwork too? I think that's a that's the special artwork. I don't. No, it's not. One fifty seven and one seventy two. So it's in the regular set. Pikachu V. See, I'm learning everyone. There we go. That's still a super cool hit. Look how cute that card is. Like, that's a cool card. That's fun to open. Even as an adult, like, that's fun to open. All right. Uh, there we go. Pikachu V. I like it. I like it. I still am learning, everyone. I'm still learning all the different card types and, and foiling. And uh, as a new Pokemon person, uh, not a new Pokemon person, but as, like, somebody who uh, was active in Pokemon as a kid, uh, I still didn't learn that like i didn't open packs like this as a kid i opened maybe one or two packs actually i don't even remember how i got my pokemon cards i i feel like i must open some packs but um it was mostly for me opening like when i remember pokemon opening it was the tops packs um he used to hang out in the target section of target sorry in the tcg section of target and just like wait for my mom uh to, to go shopping and i would just look at po uh, pokemon cards but, like, we only bought the top snacks. All right, here we go. Ooh, Raku. Gosh, so cool. Uh, and then I was absolutely obsessed with the Pokemon video games. Like, I have put more hours. Probably the only game that I put more hours into other other than RuneScape is, um, is Pokemon Yellow. I played that game so much. I always thought it'd be really fun to have a, a YouTube channel that was on uh, vintage video games. I used to be super into vintage video games. Um... And to play, like, the Pokemon games on stream. Like, that would be a ton of fun. Maybe someday. Maybe someday we'll do more Pokemon stuff. But anyway, um, it is so much fun to relive this all. And, uh, all right, we got another special card coming up. Ooh, an Eevee. So this is another trainer system, uh, trainer collection. Uh, and this is the Eevee. And then we got a Luxray in the background. Uh, that's probably a pretty good one. Eevee's a popular Pokemon. I love how big they make the Pokemon in these cards. Like, that's what makes it kind of really stand out. And, like, see how the foiling, they do all these different types of foiling, and it's just 
all their cards are super interesting. They really know how to make cards. They're really bad at naming Pokemon, though. Let's get back to that. Like, what are some of the new Pokemon names? And why does nobody complain about it? Like, Cor Corfish? Like, come on. Golet? These aren't even names. Chimiko? These aren't things. This isn't This isn't Charizard or Squirtle. This is like, come on. Come on. You can do better, Pokemon. You can do better. All right. Um, Because we've seen them do better. This box doesn't seem very good. Although the Pikachu V, I don't know. That's a cool, that's a cool hit. It doesn't seem like this box is super good. We haven't hit any Charizards. Uh-oh. What do we got? Charizard? Ooh! <laughs> there we go! That is sick. Mimikyu. you. Uh, that's, I don't think the massive hit, but it is a really cool card. Um, man, look at that. That's sweet. Look at the space theme. Obnoxious numbers. Uh, I would love to learn how to play Pokemon, to be honest. It would, like, make my childhood Louis, make, make eight-year-old Louis really happy if adult Louis, like, actually learned how to play. All right, that's, uh, that's the first kind of big hit. I don't think it's, like, a massive hit, uh, but it's a big hit. Uh, maybe we'll look it up later. But it's, uh, it's not one of the, like, secret rares, so, uh, that's what we're going for is a secret rare. And a secret rare, uh, Charizard. That's what we want. The super rare Charizard. We want Charizards on the video. We want Charizards. Should we open until we hit a Charizard? You just want to do that? Nah, we're not going to do that. Maybe we'll do a live stream where we just like open packs and you guys just tell me what packs to open. I just open packs blindly. Be fun. Draco Vish. See, like that's a stupid name. I, I apologize to any like 10 year olds who are like, that's my favorite Pokemon. You're making fun of their name. But like your Pokemon names are, you guys got kind of gypped on the Pokemon names. Not going to lie. You got kind of gypped. Like Breloom? That's not a name. Squirtle is a name. That's a Pokemon name. But I get it. They're making it up. I'm just complaining. Uh, so all of a sudden we're doing a little bit better. That's obviously not like the Charizard. Um, but it's, you know, it's still good. It's still good. We're all right. We're having fun. Flygon. See, I like the artwork on this set better. Team yells cheer or team yells cheer. Yeah. Um, it's super cool. Like, uh, the artwork is better. The Charizard artwork in this set is a little bit weaker. I think than the previous ones, he's a little, um, a little too, uh, let's see if we can pull it here. He's a little too, Ooh, whimsicott. That's a cute little Pokemon. He's a little too uh, cartoony for me, um, but that doesn't stop me from wanting to pull him. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. We got a couple of V's. We got the the Pikachu V that's like different foiling. I don't know if that's special or not, but this is all right. This is an okay box. This isn't this isn't terrible. I mean, you kind of always get hosed on Pokemon in terms of like an EV, um, unless you hit one of the big super secret ones. You kind of just get hosed when you open them. It's like I said, it's an experience. And I, and I really encourage you, if you're going to open Pokemon, try to. Oh, Urshifur VMAX. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. This is the trainer series, but it is still a VMAX. And obviously, Urshifu is uh, that's a pretty popular newer age at Pokemon. Now, again, I don't know what one that's from. I have not been in the Pokemon world, but I do know that that's a pretty popular one. So that's a good one. We got two VMAX hits. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I don't know. A lot of people are doing this stuff on whatnot. I don't know. Sometimes I want to do that. I got to prove for whatnot. I'll probably do one stream at least just to keep my account, but um, I don't know. It just seems like more fun to just do it this way. Oregon V. All right. The V ones are cool. They're just the other, you know, the financial value of these is so much connected to those high end poles like the Charizard. I would love to hit the Charizard. Come on, baby. Give me the, the rainbow, the rainbow Charizard. Fresh water set, Electrovire. All right, couple packs left. Last in the close. This set is an absolute banger. It is um, going crazy on the secondary market. Uh, so just know that, uh-oh. Ah, uh, it's a trainer. Mustard. Single strike style. Mustard. All right. Uh, another really cool foiling, though. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this card is going absolutely nuts on the secondary market. It's definitely the best Pokemon set we've had um, for a while. I do anticipate that that Charizard is one of the main reasons for that. 
and uh, it'll be interesting to see where things shake out. I know there's a lot of, ooh, a mall trace. There we go. There's a lot of conversation about um, if, the, if we'll see another uh, print run of it or another print kind of cycle of it. And I'll be interested to see that too. Um, I, I get the feeling that it's going to be not super soon is uh, the feeling that I get. But uh, anyway, we did not hit a Charizard, which is obviously a bummer, but let me know if you guys want to do more. If you guys like this, we will we can keep trying to hit Charizard. I'm okay with opening boxes and losing money until we lose money even when we pull the Charizard. All in all, my favorite card from this break right now has got to be the Pikachu. I have no clue what the financial value is. I don't really care. Uh, it's just a really cute Pikachu, and uh, it'll make my daughter happy. Uh, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys have yourself a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to the people around you. Let me know what you think about Pokemon in the comment section below, and we will talk to you again in another video.